morning, it's Sunday the 21st of July 2019 and we're on the, the shores of Loch Ern. Uh, short drive up for us, not too far away, so we're going to have a quick walk up this morning up to Ben Vorloch in Stuka Croyne. Uh, the forecast is good this morning, but uh, this afternoon there's rain coming in, so early is better. Just a conventional route uh, this morning, just up the track and then straight onto the hill path, so no finesse with the route finding today. We're joined with young Michael, that's Mike's uh, laddie who's home for a while. You see the good track all the way up right. through the woods and you can see there the track goes right up the shoulder the hill all height yeah. and the mineral is clear at the minute so I just wander up here great track they were doing a lot of work on the track last time we were up here Well, that's just cleared the trees now, you know, it's on the hillside, you see the track there, really good. Hill still clear, so onwards and upwards. See there's a path that goes off to the right here, and goes up to the coal. Allows you to miss out. Then we'll look around the corner and do stick a crown first. But we're going to head straight up. This has got the jackets on now, pretty cold wind. Picking up a wee bit as we get up here. On the final rise now, so not far to go. Back the track, Loch Ern. Come around here, you see Loch Royal coming in from the left. It's at the back side of Loch Quidder. We're quite breezy up here, we think, so we're in a bit of shelter from the hill at the minute. Weather looking a little bit in the east. And it's just a, a small east cairn, just out from the trig point. The trig point's in Monroe, so. That's looking west, back to the trig point and then down to the coal. Head down the coal. Stuka Croyne just clearing it out very slightly. Just got the craggy face in uh, Stuka Croyne. There's a path that you can go around to the left, the grassy path. It's quite steep, but we'll just go straight up the face. That's the kind of west along Loch Boyle, the hills at uh, Balcuda. All pretty well covered. So we might just be lucky with the two that we've chosen today. It's not a big drop down in the coal between the two of them.
That's just down at the cove, just starting to get the rise again. Underneath the the rise. You just really go straight up. It looks a lot worse than it actually is. It's fine in summer. A wee bit of more of a challenge in the winter. Looking back to Benverloch. See the coal path goes out here. Out and it picks up to that point. So it's coming into Stuka Crown first. You can come round Warlock. Right, well done, Michael. That's the north purpose. That's good fun, that. Ah, it's good day. That's a wee traverse across to the Monroe uh, Cairn after the north purpose there. Quite nice, a wee scramble. It's looking east. Massive glen there. Then back around to Borloch. It's took a crown. Two cairns on top here. This one's looks the highest, but we'll do the other one. Just over there. This point certainly looks higher. So going back to Ben Borloch. Craggy buttress there, there we came up, on the north side. Going around looking west. I think we may have got the best of the day. Get the other end, Mike. That's looking west. Ben Lady's in there. Come around. See Loch Boyle. Again in here. Well, quite a hill running that way. Come around and you see the, the head of Loch Ern down here. The hills are all pretty well covered. Behind Loch Ern, you've got Ben Lors. And then coming round east, men of Warlock still clear. A lot of people in busy hills today, a lot of blimps on the skyline. This is on the bypass, it's the one that just cuts down on the east side of the, the buttress. There's also a path comes up on the, the west side as well, slightly, probably a better angle. Right, we're going to cut down here. Looking across to Ben Varloff, there's about 10 people on the top. Some coming down the shoulder, some out to the east top. And a wee grouping. Round about the trick point. Uh, 
that's looking back at Stuka Croin from Nicole. So we're just going to head back up Ben Warlock. Legs in a bit more condition, so we'll just take the height again. It's the shortest route back up and straight over down the path again. This is just looking back at the car. Uh, five and a half hours, 11 kilometers. So a nice day, nice getting the, both the tops clear. Uh, really nice, cracking day. Starting to close in now, some rain coming on, the, the tops clagged down, so morning was better. But thanks for watching.